The Panhard VBR, Vehicle Blind Arrues, multipurpose armored vehicles were created as an independent initiative after the success of the Panhard VBL armored scout car. The VBR shares a similar layout with the VBL but boasts larger dimensions and increased carrying capacity. This vehicle is adaptable for a diverse range of battlefield missions. The initial prototype was unveiled in 2002. However, despite its debut, the Panhard VBR did not receive any production orders from either the French Army or potential international buyers. Differing from the well-known VBR armored car, the Panhard VBR is notably larger and offers more internal space. It accommodates a crew of two and can house between two to seven troops, contingent on the specific mission variant. The baseline model comprises four doors and rear doors. Payload capacity ranges from 2 to 2.5 tons, depending on the version. The VBR's armor grants protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. Additional composite armor enhances resistance against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds, rendering the Panhard VBR impervious to heavy machine gun fire with this supplementary armor in place. The vehicle features a V-shaped floor design for enhanced mine protection. It is also equipped with an anti-mine layer, NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection, and fire suppression systems. During the prototype phase, the first VBR was equipped with a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The Panhard VBR offers flexibility in terms of armament, including options like a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, a cannon, or anti-tank missiles. In order to lower costs and reduce life cycle expenses, the Panhard VBR incorporates many commercially available components, including its diesel engine and transmission. The vehicle is propelled by the MTU 4R106 diesel engine, generating 325 horsepower. Equipped with run-flat tires and a central tire inflation system, the Panhard VBR is not amphibious, although an amphibious propulsion system was in the development stages. This armored vehicle is particularly well-suited for airlift operations and can be transported by medium transport aircraft such as the C-130 Hercules. This capability allows for rapid deployment to various locations worldwide. 